but put your hands up. This is game number one of the grand finals. A best of seven between champions. RRQ on the blue side, up against RSGPH on the red. It's gonna be really interesting Bruh. to see how. You could say it takes a lot more technical, technicality, tech, I can't even say it. technicalities. <laughs> there we go, right? Um, especially what you guys are mentioning here, where again, you have to think there's a lot of variables here. The live crowd going against your idols, like they say, and that could play a part here. Mm -hmm. And I think it's going to play an extremely big part. But that being said, that's what we need to talk about, right? How do they want to control the game? Because from RSG and RQ, both of these teams like to. Now, RC Philippines has to respond. They could be looking for a play up top. I don't know about this play, man. He goes in for the Phantom Execution. R7 with the flicker almost just outplays him. He's looking for the play onto Nats here as the Dawning Light will not. Oh! Oh! That pure class prediction by Aqua. Magic Pew Pew. TM <laughs> from Leo. That is the play right there, the cross map. I think RNG Philippines, again, they have a very good composition to pull this off. Offense over defense. Light, he's already setting up for a play here. He is already going. Oh, oh Finn. Very aggressively thought he'd fallen someone there in that bush. Bend. Well, let's keep in mind that Light, his flicker is going to be back up. By the time the Lord actually makes it in towards our bait, Light should have about, I don't know, six to seven seconds left on that cooldown. This could be their moment to actually turn things around. Enhanced Lord in the mid lane. RRQ marching here as they're looking for something. Dawning Light to defend as that real world manipulation comes in. Oh. Ivan gets chain CC'd, forced to flicker out. Nats in the back line trying to deal the damage. Skyler will be able to flicker out, but Nats finds him in that back line. It's going to be Albert trying to zone them away, looking for the defense. Clay onto the base. He's just hitting on it. The base hasn't fallen. R7 Ooh. loses his immortality and RSG, they punish this. R7 taken down. A two for one and RSG come out on top. Demon Kite will choose to back off. Crucial Lord. We're at the 20 minute mark here. I don't see RSG Philippines letting this one go, right? Even though they need to defend their base, Aqua will most likely be there, has that dawning light like you mentioned, plus those items available, and now Lord is going to be at half health. Oh, Albert looks for the pick here, goes in for the heavy spin, will be able to pin light down, and that's going to be Skyler picking up the kill. The Athena has been propped, now with the dawning light coming through, and Mon is going to come through with the dash, R7 flickering out, Clay just Lord. getting zoned away by Nats here, doing so much in that back line, 1v4, Albert looking for oh. retribution, will fall as the retreat comes down, and Mon! It's huge! It's massive! He takes down two before his immortality pops. And it's gonna be Skyler looking for compensation. He dodges away, pops the flicker as well. RRQ lose out. It's a three for one. That's really saving the day, but when the dawning light keeps on coming like that, it's just really frustrating if you're RRQ. RSG have their number right now. And even the die rod, R7 is forced to stay up top. They're just instantly going at it, committing onto this Lord. It's already taken down to a quarter of its health as Nats does his thing. He just zones away all the members. Dawning light once again, go. connecting on the three. Oh. Albert looking for the steal right now. Finn jumps in with that wild charge. Demon Kite gets it. RSG, they collapse once more. Albert caught low there with the winners. Run, just still able to run away. Demon Kite gonna get taken. And low, but oh, Iman oh. finds it, just gets it there. The dog no. finds it. Iman with the triple kill. Oh, to Skyler, he is showing revenge. He dodges away from Clay, and Clay cannot defend alone. This is huge. RSGPH completely abusing the savior, maintaining the enlightened oh. form, and they find one more a monster kill. Aqua low key now taking it high key. The King Slayers with game number one to end it off here. It was one turn, one team fight that dictated this match. That kind of damage, because we saw that, right? This is the dawning light on, what, maybe 12, 13 second cooldown. You can literally sit in your base and pop off a ton of damage. I mean, is that... Yeah, especially in MSC, he you has little victories that are Hoshi are taking on the map. Not just from these team fights alone, but notice how they play the waves, especially in that mid lane. This is a, is a very good position for him to look for that Numenon Blast and flanks. Albert oh. gets the kill. Numenon Blast not popped. It will oh. find no one as Skyler jumps in. That's going to be the kill speed picked up. RRQ looking to collapse further as Light oh. will be caught out. The Mystic Field buys a little bit more time, but Albert is just massive on the Karina. Now, as you can see him, look for compensation in the mid lane. Oh, he will man. be able to take that turret down. R7 with no damage. There is no kill pressure, but I might be wrong here. He jumps in. He looks for the solo kill. Nats taken low. Still oh, able no. to run away. One the with the no! Oh! By that 
pick just yet, but Clay, he's getting a little brave here. I want to just emphasize on what uh, Nats was able to do there, because by getting that turret, that actually gives over the pressure to become... Ooh, <laughs> Iman, just so aware! The Lord now, a chunk to half HP. RRQ looking for the play. R7 jumping in onto Demon Kai, falling back once again. RSG Light looking for the Luminum Blast. Victor, oh, there we go! No. Three, the collapse is here, and boom! There you have it! Skyler trying to run away with a torn apart memory as the Heavy Spin will be able to just stop everyone. Albert looking for the play onto the Lord, but he's gonna get bursted down by Iman. They look for more right here, but it's going to be a two for one for RSG. The uh, Beerus Passion is there, able to jump R7 low. Skyler can't deal more damage. Albert, Albert. jumping in onto four, but he's going to get caught out of the Mystic Field. He will still be able to get out. The Dawning Light comes through, doesn't connect, but RRQ losing out in that fight. The bottom side river, both teams not pulling the trigger just yet. RSG getting caught out here as Vin will be able to open up the map once again. Demon Kai going for the death uh -oh. as well. Come time. Vin is going to get caught. He spits him out with the damage coming through, but R7 is going to be able to buy so much time. Vin Getting out, R7 taken low there in the top side, forced to flicker out. Clay is gonna get caught. No, oh, no, oh, one, two, three. RRQ, they can't go anywhere. The real world manipulation was popped there, but instantly canceled by Clay. And now RRQ, they lose R7. Albert is still half HP, but they cannot look for anything here. Look at Albert, he just goes for the purple buff. It's RSG with a clean fight and a free Lord. The Lord low. It's gonna be RRQ to look for the Lord. Heavy speed gonna be popped, but Demon Guy so on point of retribution. Now Taken low there in the bottom side of that. Oh. Skyler shutting him down, but Clay <laughs> will fall to the dawning light of Aqua. And that's another one. R7 as well. They find the Mystic Field onto Finn. Finn can no longer run. The winner trudged by Albert was misclicked. And Finn will have his immortality pop. Not just yet, though. Iman flickers forward, gets Skyler no. low. The dawning light to take him down. Albert jumping on the three members, still able to back up. Finn gets hit, but they will both survive. The winner is going to fall down first. And RSGPH so close to getting. This game too, they find one and they're looking to picks for more. Albert doing the damage onto Light. Iman jumping in with the rescue, That's just it. dealing it out without minions. RSG goes it off 2 to 0. 50-50s against RSG to try and coin flip as much as they can until they start profiting off of these Ooh, picks. Wow, what a pick. Once again there, Vin reads it out, but Light goes in for the way. The dragon kicks Skylar back. No, he just doesn't even need it here. He no. goes for Vin. He takes one turret shot and will fall. Vin still able to survive right now. It's asking the Mystic Field and Electro Emon. Final Blow to come at it, to follow it through. And Mon just dishing out so much damage to zone these members away. But RRQ, they find a favorable trade. That one killed will benefit him, especially because he's running this way. Weapon mastery here, Emon. Yeah, down below, Emon pops the win of nature. Dawning light coming through. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, have a good follow-up through, and now oh, he's got lights. four kills. Look at him, oh. he finds the way, the dragon, they pick up Vin here. They look for more. Uh -oh. Demon Kai dodging away from everything. Skyler in the midst of it all will fall. That's a shutdown. They're looking for more. Clay still able to kind of wait, but Aqua with the flags, the sprint to take him down. Albert now alone, left inside of his own base as Nats comes through and picks up a double kill inside of the base turret. RSG wipe RRQ out. Oh, that Electo final blow. Iman gets chunked low. Albert looking for more. Demon Kai in the midst of it all. Trying Albert, to go don't through do the it. And that's going to be him looking for it. The oh! retribution does not come through. It is the dawning light onto two. Demon Kai going to get taken down. That's Nats as Come well. On. But Aqua he with the real oh. world manipulation turns it around on his head. The play here from Aqua. PH, if they get picked off here, it's going to be another three minutes that RRQ Hoshi buys for themselves. But at this point, at what cost? At what scaling? Fight or flight, Albert jumping in, trying to buy some time as he goes all the way to the back lines. They're light, finds another pick off. Skyler goes in for the viewer's passion, trying to clear the waves. That's going to be the final blow as well. RSG, oh. look at Warfin! With the I am offended, brings everyone back into Whoa. place. As Skyler dishes it out, he goes in for the flicker play. And Von comes in as well. Oh. He will be able to kill him down. Ness now still able to run away. And Mon taking low. Clay trying to clear out the waves. And RRQ no. somehow defend for some time. It's only Clay. It's two for it's two v one. There's nothing Clay can do. The ending is That's here. R S G match point. The King Slayers come to life once again in MPL PH season eight, season nine, and now M S C. Ну погнали, зачем топор на керри?
really have an answer for now. Yeah, as of yet, you know, Light has that immortality and it's working really well for him because he can make those decisions if he wants to. He can play a little aggressive and that's what we're seeing him do here. And that's why it's oh, so difficult. Oh, Light, he will be able to find it. And RSG just go through the tunnel. They punish RRQ. Nash a little bit too deep will be oh. punished here as he will fall, but only a one for one. RSG, they pick up so many more objectives though. They can convert onto this. They were able the pressure RRQ out of their own base. Is in full control. RRQ, they keep trying to move out, right? But when you see these big plays come out from RSG side, and technically RRQ is punishing, all they get is just immortalities out of the fight. This could be it. This could be huge. Oh! Why? With the play to end the game, R7 is going to fall. And just like that, Clay, Skyler left to defend. 3 4 0 for RSG. They don't have the Lord now, but I'm pretty sure sure that they will have it now that it spawns in the 16 minute. Well, they might even not go for it here. Uh, I mean, it, it looks like they're not oh. Skylar. He's in trouble. And even the, the flicker oh. came out of it. Nats finds him. And this could be it. The kingdom in ruins. A victor emerges from the debris. RSG. The Kingslayers have overthrown the king of kings. The new kings of Southeast Asia is RSG. The King Slayers adding a king to their list and becoming one themselves. What a series, a sweep. You know, this has been a beautiful moment. RSGPH are your MSC champions 2022. What a performance. The comeback, the victory, Everything that they have done in this tournament has been phenomenal. From the lower brackets, scraping a victory against the past, the defending champions. Oh my it, goodness, dude. It, and there you have it! RSG Philippines! Your MSC 2022 champions! Fans of MLBB, wherever you are, sign in the chat. The comments, hashtag GGRSG. They have done it. Filipinas lag Maracas. And thank you to RRQ Hoshi, our first runner up of MSC 2022. Thank you so much. They have fought long and hard for this moment. RRQ Hoshi, please take the center stage. All of your fans are here. They're cheering for you. RQ Hoshi, please take center stage. Give a final bow to everyone here who supported. And we're ready. And the MVP of the MSC 2022 is... Eman! Eman, throughout the playoffs, has played amazingly. Amazing position, managing to snipe everyone out of the battle. Congratulations, Emin. Take a look at this moment.